Thinner was a novel released by King under the pseudonym of Richard Backman. King was struggling with his weight as well as a nicotine addiction, which fueled him to write this novel. A film adaptation directed by Tom Holland was released in 1996. The film follows an obese attorney who is cursed by a gypsy to lose weight rapidly. The film stars Robert John Burke. Hey guys, and welcome back to Garage Stephen Kingathon, where every day for the month of October we revisit a Stephen King adaptation. Today we're talking about Thinner, and I watched Thinner when I was a kid. It kind of scared me, but now I'm watching it as an adult, and I'm realizing that this is in fact a comedy. Whoops! No, it's not really a comedy, it's a horror comedy, so when you're a kid you pick up on the horror more than the comedy, I guess. But this movie is definitely comedic in nature. Everything from Robert John Burke's performance, which is very Michael Keaton-esque. As a matter of fact, when I first watched this movie, I thought it was Michael Keaton. I don't know why, it's just one of those things, it's a Mandela effect, but I always thought Michael Keaton was in this movie. But yeah, the whole tone of the movie has a little tongue-in-cheek feel. Kind of feels like Evil Dead 2, or Army of Darkness. There's a scene where they're in court, and one of the guys in court drops the term pms -y. Well, it was my wife. She got feisty this one time. The PMS thing, maybe. You know how they get. And then there was this matter of some money. And the whole premise of the movie is downright silly. This man is driving in the street and he's getting roadhead by his wife. He runs over a gypsy with his car and the gypsy puts a curse on him. <laughs> the whole thing is very comedic. Even the Stephen King cameo in this movie is very comedic. Stephen King plays a pharmacist in this movie, and his last name is Bangor. They refer to him as Mr. Bangor. Yes, but she was running. That's what I want to establish. Well, I can't say for sure. You see, I was in the back of the pharmacy because... Tell me all, Mr. Bangor. You may step down. Chief Hopley. I think the problem with this movie is that it's kind of funny but it's kind of not at the same time. Like, everyone's hamming it up when it comes to performances, but I feel like other than their delivery, the movie's not really all that funny. The way Robert John Burke delivers lines, he'll deliver every line as if it's a joke, even though it's not really necessarily funny, and that kind of gets old after a while. The fat suit in this movie is downright terrible. <laughs> this is not a good fat suit. There's even a scene in a shower where the main character is showering and he has that stupid fat suit on and he's just rubbing a bar of soap like this and it's really fake and you really don't feel like you're watching a fat guy. It just looks like a costume. Listen, uh, Carrie, I never really thanked you for taking care of me. I tried finding what Stephen King thought of this movie but I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. But I'm assuming he probably doesn't like this adaptation just because of the very silly nature of it. I thought the whole movie was overall pretty tone deaf. There's a scene at the end which involves him finding out that he accidentally killed his daughter. And it's very glossed over. It's kind of done like a bum bum bum. And yeah, this guy doesn't really live with the consequences. The movie just didn't really make a lot of sense. So he's getting head by his wife while driving and he runs over the gypsy. The whole time he's blaming his wife for the accident. And you're like, does this guy not realize that he's in the wrong as well? It kind of takes two to tango, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please, please don't go through that curse thing again. Well, what the hell else can I be hiding, huh? Huh? I'm not having to hide it. It's not anorexia. I don't have a tape worm. I've been eating like mad for over six weeks, six, ten, twelve thousand calories a day. At least, I don't still lose weight. My being 
erased. That's fine if you want to have a character do that, but then you want the character to suffer the fate of his actions. You want this character who's a bit of a miserable attorney to kind of bite the dust. And that never really happens. The bad guy kind of ends up winning. The protagonist of this movie is basically an anti-hero. At the end of the movie, the daughter and the wife end up biting the dust. And they try to throw in some subplot about his wife cheating on him with a doctor just to make him a bit more sympathetic. But he was still basically a dick in this movie. And comparing it to an Evil Dead movie, Ash in those movies are is a very charismatic hero, but he's a bit of a schlub. While in this movie, I thought the main character was just a miserable asshole, and he never gets any consequences for his actions and basically gets away with everything scot-free. So I just was left confused while watching this movie. I'm like, what is this movie trying to say? Does this movie want us to have sympathy for this main character or not? I get it, it's a goofy movie, but it doesn't mean that you can make the character that non-sympathetic. It really took me out of the movie and kind of made me not like the main character's performance for that. Contrast that with scenes of this weird dream sequence where a lizard man is driving him around and it's just... It was a little too weird for my brain to comprehend. Am I supposed to like this guy or hate this guy? <laughs> So overall, Thinner, whenever I say the title Thinner, I think of, uh, you guys ever listen to the album OK Computer by Radiohead, and they have that weird interlude where it's like, Thinner, happier, more productive, meh, 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 meh. That's what I think about when I see this movie. But yeah, overall, I do think the makeup was good in this movie, other than the fat suit. I, I like the makeup effects. And the scene that terrified me as a kid is the scene where the wife dies. So the gypsy makes a deal with the attorney saying that you have to give the curse to someone else. So he makes them this pie and he says you gotta make someone else eat this pie. The attorney makes his wife eat the pie because he's mad at his wife for cheating on him. And the wife ultimately bites the dust in a very scary sequence. I did. Heidi, you awake? Did you try it? Yep, you tried it. But that's what I mean, it's like, why does the wife get to die? I get she's cheating on him. But the whole time this guy is bitching at his wife, saying that she was the reason why he got into that accident and is put with this curse, which doesn't make sense to me. And even if it doesn't make sense, I find it just weird that he ends up winning in the end. Yeah, that's all I have to say about the movie Thinner. I do have a soft spot for this movie because I watched it when I was pretty young. But if I'm being completely just about this movie it's not really a good movie and you could probably skip out on it but don't worry guys we're a bit in a Stephen King drought when it comes to it this whole period is a little boring but guys it's gonna make a comeback in the turn of the century trust me stay tuned to Garage Stephen Kingathon more reviews coming your way Stephen King's Thinner <laughs> More Terror <laughs> Less filling.